feds may seize Liberty Dollars, Kurt Nemo, Coin World and others report, and they have a direct link to the government's own announcements, that the feds are looking to seize Liberty Dollars from collectors and those using the coins instead of inflation-ridden Federal Reserve notes. Officials, not servants, officials with the U.S. Attorney's Office said on August 24th that the coins are contraband. The Secret Service, the federal agency responsible for confiscating counterfeit money, did not provide any definitive comments concerning under what circumstances Liberty Dollars would be seized, according to Paul Geikes of CoinWorld. Uh-oh, I got, I think, five or six of them somewhere around here. I guess I'm getting SWAT teamed. Uh, the coins are illegal, even if they are not used for barter, the feds insist. We're going to break this all down straight ahead. The feds have come out and said it is illegal to own Gibson guitars that were made previously. They're saying they may SWAT team your own. People are having them taken and they're being fined when they try to fly out of the U.S. That's in the Wall Street Journal. This is the new America. And they're saying next it's furniture, guns. They don't care if it's 100 years old or older. If you don't have the proof of where the wood came from, just like ivory, your guns, your furniture are gone. How do you think the crooks are going to get in your house or business? Oh, uh, by the way, the feds are now announcing they may go after regular silver and gold. They confiscated it in 1933. You see, and we only told you this could happen, and they're test ballooning it right now with this case. Why? Because if they keep deflating the currency, devaluing it, gold could be 20,000 an ounce. I mean, it was 50 million Deutsch Marks for a Wiener Schnitzel sandwich uh, or a loaf of bread in Weimar Republic, Germany. Same thing in Zimbabwe, same thing in Argentina. You know, they only had 1,000% inflation there. You know, not, not, you know, million inflation. And, but but that, that's why. Now, the bankers all hoard theirs offshore. There's a reason Hugo Chavez has ordered his gold back from England. The uh, 144 tons they had there, another 60-something tons in other European vaults. But again, that's even more reason to get gold. Don't, don't turn it in when they say it. They'll arrest a few people on TV and have SWAT teams calling them terrorists. By the way, let me read from the FBI's website. Attempts to undermine the legitimate currency of this country are simply a unique form of domestic terrorism, U.S. Attorney uh, Tomkins said in an announcement, the verdict. While these forms of anti-government activities do not involve violence, they are every bit as insidious to publicly have TV ads on selling gold and silver coins. Totally legal. Even the AP admitted this is legal. And represent a clear and present danger to the economic stability of this country, she added. We are determined to meet these threats through infiltration, disruption, and dismantling of organizations which seek to challenge the legitimacy of our democratic form of government. That's the article. Feds may seize liberty dollars. And they've put out a release saying, no, Nuthouse is going, Von Nuthouse is going to jail. And if you've got these things, you're going to jail. And they're going to expand out to all other gold and silver coins. This is the criminal mafia government. They come take your children for no reason, you hand them over. They put radioactive isotopes in your water, you drink it. Uh, they give you GMO crops, you eat it. They raid guitar companies and Amish people and lemonade stands and arrest people at lemonade stands. You take it. You can't have a garden in your yard. You take it. They now admit they're using Mexican troops, Associated Press, inside the U.S., not even a news issue. This is what America has turned into. And, and the, the FBI and the U.S. attorneys... Are, are, are with a straight face saying that silver and gold is undermining the United States. I thought it was the Federal Reserve that took over in 1913 and is now fully bankrupting this country. You know, the folks that got tens of trillions of dollars of tax money and tried to keep it secret. I thought they were the ones devaluing the dollar. Or, I'm sorry, it's not even a dollar, it's a Federal Reserve note. And then it's undermining our democratic process, the FBI and, and uh, U.S. Attorney's Office. These are the people, this is the Justice Department that ships guns all over the country. I saw a, a U.S. attorney on tape just last week in federal court griping about it saying, we're not allowed to go after people now unless they have something like 50 kilos. 
They only go after drugs at the retail level because you're a good worker to work for 25 cents an hour in a prison displacing everybody else's jobs. They don't just get rid of our jobs with China or labor from Mexico. They get rid of it with the millions of prisoners building everything you can imagine, doing customer service, everything. This is America. This is what America is. You don't make a wooden guitar even if the wood isn't endangered. Because under a UN law, you're not allowed to work the wood. I want you to understand, ladies and gentlemen, this is only the beginning of how our emperor government has erected a multitude of offices and sent forth swarms of agents to oppress our people and eat out their substance. Declaration of Independence. That's why America was admired, why it was loved, why it was known for being the freest country in the world. Now the dark light of tyranny shines forth from our country because we've let criminal, hardcore mafia take over who say, listen, you don't have a business unless we say you have one. Is that clear? We run your country now, Mac. Six months ago, uh, Bernard von Nothaus who for decades ran the Royal Hawaiian Mint and who also uh, then 14 years ago or 14 plus now set up the Liberty Dollar. And it's an open silver and gold backed system that uh, does not masquerade as a Federal Reserve note or the defunct U.S. dollar. We haven't had that since the Federal Reserve took over, except for a brief time when JFK reissued greenbacks. $5 billion of them. He was going to issue $50 billion. It says U.S. note has a red stamp on it. It's $5 bills. You can find them at any coin shop, usually for about $10, bucks. You won't actually see uh, the last time we had actual dollars in this country. It was 19, 1963, and, you know, the bankers didn't like that too much. Uh, so he issued silver and gold rounds or coins. There are hundreds of companies uh, out there over the years, thousands that have commissioned coins at different mints, I mean, there's Ron Paul coins, there's uh, university coins, there's military coins. You see the ads constantly. I mean, my entire life on TV, especially on, you know, Saturday and Sunday, you see coin ads up there uh, from this mint or that mint. Or companies find a sunken ship with uh, you know, 10,000 ounces of silver and they strike them into new coins with the, with the image of the ship on it. I mean, you see those ads. I mean, I've ordered them myself. And when they convicted him because of a pet jury, and by the way, they're convicting people of filming police in public. It's not eavesdropping, and later courts overthrow it, but they can get juries to, to, to send a child to the gas chamber for, for not brushing their teeth. I mean, they can get a jury because of these prosecutors play on their ignorance to do anything. And 98% of people are convicted in federal, federal court because these are kept juries. They don't really rotate. It's just one group of of uh, normally criminals uh, that, that sit on them. So it might not have been uh, ignorance. And they allow informants to come in and lie knowingly. I mean, it's very dangerous. So uh, Bernard uh, von Nothaus didn't take it like a joke. He said, this is ridiculous. Ha, 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 I'm not worried. He went in, they convicted him. Even the AP's own analysis, and we're going to him, the day after it said, this is crazy. We've checked the law. This isn't counterfeiting Federal Reserve notes or anything. It's silver and gold coins. There's all these other companies. And in their statement, they said, uh, this is the FBI Charlotte Division from the U.S. Attorney, it says attempts to undermine the legitimate currency of this country, that's what the Federal Reserve's done, are simply a unique form of domestic terrorism. Well, that's what the Federal Reserve is, yeah, terrorist. U.S. Attorney uh, Tompkins said in an announcing the verdict, while these forms of anti-government activities do not involve violence, they are every bit as insidious and represent a clear and present danger to the economic stability of our country, she added. We are determined to meet these threats through infiltration, disruption, and dismantling of organizations which seek to challenge the legitimacy of our d democratic form of government. Oh, democratic. Now, the, uh, this is what I've got uh, Mr. Nothaus on about. I wanted to fill you in. Now, uh, the Secret Service has announced, and, and, and Coin World has, announced, has reported on it, so has Infowars.com, feds may seize liberty dollars. That yes, the coins are illegal to even hold, even if it's for educational purposes, just like I, they're now saying Gibson guitars or any other wooden furniture, firearms that could have now be an endangered tree. If you can't prove when you bought it, they're going to start SWAT teaming you. And it, it's beginning. So 
uh, gold, silver coins, wood firearms, wooden guitars. I mean, it's on. Thousands of arrests or raids dozens of times I've seen where they've arrested people selling lemonade, uh, Amish being raided, uh, people being arrested or fined for having garage sales. It's on. You don't have gardens in your yard. It's on. It's on. The depression's here, and you are not going to be self-sufficient. Uh, you're not going to have an alternative currency, but the good news is they may have hurt this guy and made him a martyr for now, but like a phoenix, seven states have passed or are passing laws to bring in silver. So uh, this idea, uh, it's time has come and no army can stop it. And so we are joined by Bernard von Nothaus. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. Alex, it's always a pleasure to visit with you. Well, tell us uh, about how you've been doing, waiting for sentencing six months from their lordships uh, and their kangaroo imperial court, and what you make of their statement that your coins themselves are, uh, are, are, are counterfeit. Well, I've been, I've been holding up pretty well, Alex, even though it's been almost a half a year since I was convicted, and I still don't know when I'm going to be sentenced, which is probably still months away. But, uh, you know, I've been whiling away, uh, working on my pet projects, but I am particularly incensed and alarmed by the recent article that Coin World just announced that Liberty Dollars may be subject to seizure. This is a gross expansion on the part of the government, and I don't think they really realize what uh, they're sticking their male member or female member into, quite frankly, right now, you know. And what? And by that, your your uh, this the, the the their ruling, their statement, their kangaroo uh, largesse, their administrative law, uh, which you know does come out of the well the end that you don't eat with. They are saying that all gold and silver is illegal. Well, no, they're they're saying Liberty Dollars may no. be seized, Alex. No, I know, but the way they've written it, saying silver and gold coins are counterfeit, that could be expanded out into everything the way I read it. It's very dangerous. Well, I I, can, I agree that it's dangerous, but they're not saying that gold and silver coins, because after all, the United States Mint makes gold and silver coins. Yeah, I know, but, I, the, the, but, but they're saying your coins could be oh, subject yeah. to seizure. That sets the precedent for all of them. It's a dangerous slope. Uh, I give you that, Alex. But, you know, the Liberty Dollar was unique in its design, its mission, uh, everything about the Liberty Dollar. And it was also unique that this article by Coin World came out at exactly the same time that I was actually in Charlotte appearing in court asking for an extension to find an attorney to represent me during my sentencing hearing. So, uh, boy, a lot of interesting things. The biggest part here, Alex, and the reason I say that the government doesn't understand uh, the implications of what they're saying is, is that when they, when they raided Sunshine, they confiscated Liberty Dollars, they seized 170,000 ounces of silver. Now, that's a shit pot full of silver, Alex. That's a lot of silver. But in reality... Because the vast majority of Liberty Dollar supporters did not trust the government and did not believe that the government wouldn't come in and seize the property, 90% of all Liberty Dollars were never were, were in specie form. We're, we filled people's orders. So that means that the 170000 that they seized is only 10%, okay, and the vast majority of the 1.7 million Liberty Dollars are out there in circulation in millions of people's hands. I mean, this is, this is widely distributed. When you think about 1.7 million ounces, that doesn't take into consideration the fractionals because we had halves and quarters and two-fifths, one-fifths, one-twentieth. So I would gather, Alex, that there is probably about... Two million, at least two million Liberty Dollars that are out there floating around. So if they're going to go out there and start trying to collect that, wow, they're really going to have their job cut out for them. Well, you know, they yeah. don't care. They don't have to arrest every Amish farmer. They don't have to arrest every Lemon State uh, <laughs> owner. You know, they like, uh, again, it's about doing brazen, crazy things to just get us to accept that, well, my pimp beats me. He puts cigarettes out on me. 
I mean, this is this is about exercising their will on us. Uh, this is about hiking their leg on us. Well, I I certainly agree with you there, Alex. That they use gross, intimidating tactics. Okay, but the thing is, is what they're already doing is driving the price of Liberty dollars even higher than what they were on eBay and other different uh, sites that handle Liberty dollars. I got a report from one of our. Uh, supporters who said that he saw a one ounce copper on eBay for seventy dollars for Pete's sakes, Alex. It's astronomical what Liberty Dollars are going for, and we were just trying to help the government find their way to issue a value based currency. Well, well, my and question is, if they say you're counterfeiting, are they going to go after the seven states that are starting to issue silver? Well, the, the states have a long ways to go before they get to that point, to be honest with you, Alex. And if Nevada's any example, when they took it to the attorney general, when, when the state's people in Nevada took it to their attorney general, he immediately poo-pooed the whole thing, and it, cost, and it suddenly died. Uh, yes, there's a lot of rhetoric about states' rights issuing something like this, but states cannot issue any gold and silver coins. That's, they're specifically barred from that from the Constitution. Now, could they go to a third party? Could they allow a different currency to be used? Could they accept a gold and silver currency to be used to pay taxes? Yes, they could do that. I mean, after all, they are using the, those dreaded depreciating Federal Reserve notes. Bernard yeah. Vaughn Notehouse, stay there. I want to come back and talk about your case and why they went after you. Well, because you were successful at educating people. You're a political prisoner in waiting. Stay with us. Royal Hawaiian Mint, you name it. Bernard Von Notehouse is our guest. What do you think of the way that this blew up in their face? I mean, even mainstream media said it was crazy that you were convicted for uh, minting silver and gold coins and criticizing the Federal Reserve. I mean, you, uh, you clearly were not masquerading uh, as their masquerading counterfeit currency. Well, that's an understatement, Alex. I'm certainly not been masquerading. You know, I was on tour for 12 years, speaking uh, all across the United States at a lot of different events in terms of providing a solution to the government. I thought that we were being helpful to the government because obviously they'd lost their way. They had their head up in a dark, foul place and that they needed some assistance. So I thought the Liberty Dollar was going to be well received. And actually, Alex, to be honest with you, it was very well received by the government for the first, uh, let's see, seven or eight years. I mean, a lot of prominent uh, government officials replied that the government that the Liberty Dollar was legal. I appeared on the Learning Channel special along with the Federal Reserve and uh, U.S. Mint and Department of Bureau and Printing. And uh, so, I mean, it was no secret about what I was doing, Alex, but evidently, they really got their nose out of joint somewhere between April the 18th when Coin World ran an article saying that uh, Liberty Dollars were illegal to collect. And that came directly from uh, the uh, Department of Treasury until, like, yesterday when they issued that new um, article from Coin World saying that Liberty Dollars uh, may be confiscated. Uh, Amazing turn of events there, Alex. So it looks like they're trying to get their federal regulations in line with your fake conviction because now they realize, wow, we convicted somebody on something that isn't illegal. So they think, I guess, retroactively, they can have the Treasury flip-flop and say, well, we said you could have these, but now you can't. And so you're convicted of something that wasn't yet their regulation. Yeah, I mean, you know, government flip-flopping is nothing new, Alex, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, these are people that you can't trust. I mean, that's, that's why we have these nice adjectives to describe our favorite government. You know, there's no doubt about that. But the thing is, is that they're putting a lot of people at risk right now because, as I mentioned, there's somewhere around two million Liberty Dollar pieces out there. And I'm not talking about the paper certificate. I'm just talking about in gold, silver, and platinum species form. 
So I don't know where the government's going to go with this. The latest word in coin world when they contacted the Secret Service was, well, we'll get back to you in a few weeks. In other words, they're going to think, what the hell is going on here? And hopefully they'll come to their senses and they'll realize that there was nothing illegal about the Liberty Dollar. Well, the word is, because you also had the paper currency, redeemable in gold and silver, and copper that they wanted to raid and hope that you didn't have the reserves versus the paper you had out there. That's actually what the Federal Reserve does for every dollar gets put in a bank, they can loan out 10. But unfortunately, you actually had the reserves and more, and so they had to make something else up on you. Uh, where is all that gold and silver now? Well, we almost had the government uh, bring that into court. Of course, we're talking about nine tons, Alex, of gold and silver. <laughs> <laughs> which is a huge pile. But unfortunately, when the when the judge found out that it's being stored in Texas and we were in North Carolina, he said, well, that's a long ways to go just to see the big pile of gold and silver. You know? So they talked about getting videos of it and this and that. Uh, that never materialized. But uh, the long and short of it is, Alex, is, yes, we did have 100% backing. We actually had more silver. They confiscated, oh, I don't know, 30 or 40 extra thousand ounces on top of the silver that they confiscated that are backing up the certificates. Now, remember, the certificates are not illegal. The government has acknowledged in writing. The United States has acknowledged in writing that the certificates are not illegal. So the people who have the certificates still have a bona fide claim, even after I go to jail or go to prison, uh, a bona fide claim to recover the at least the value, if not the gold and silver, if those are still classified as contraband. So they wouldn't be returned, but the government would have to give you fair market value for everything that you're holding in the either the paper or digital Liberty Dollar certificate. All right, Bernard Von Nothaus, thank you so much. We look forward to speaking to you in the, in the near future. And when the history books are written, you'll be known as the Rosa Parks of monetary freedom and constitutional money. Thank you so much, sir. Where did you get that, Alex? Where did you get that phrase? I just said it. Thank you, sir. Yeah.